Hello everyone, hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to install Astra theme and how to create your first menu or you know your menu. So I'm going to just go directly to my dashboard. So this is my website. I'm just using a very simple installation of WordPress. Okay, this is it. And I'm using uh, 2019, I think. So you have all heard how cool Astra theme is and I agree it is. So how to install it while you are on your dashboard. Okay. You go to appearance and you go to themes. And this is the default themes that they come uh, pre-installed with a fresh WordPress installation. Now I'm going to click on add new and I can search here on the sidebar. I can just search for Astra and it is the first one, this one, and I'm going to click install and it is installing and uh, installing, installing, depending on your hosting and your server, you know, it might be installed faster or slower. So installed. Great. And now we're going to activate it. And on this website that, that I have just uh, created now, I only have like a, a static page, the home page with a demo image and some text and a couple of articles. It is supposed to be a food recipe website that I'm using it for my tutorials. So I just have like two, three articles and one static page and the home page. Very simple, very clean. So. Now that the Astra theme is installed and activated, what we want to do is we want to go to appearance and customize. Here is the main um, settings of Astra theme. So you see here this, so, and this is the preview of how the website will look like. So this is my home page, which I have just added an image and some dummy text. And uh, I have um, a menu here, which I'm going to show you how to make it. And here, those things on the side, the sidebar comes you know, automatically. So here are the settings on the side of Astra. We have some global settings, which is the typography here. You can set what kind of font you want, Montserrat, or you can have, I don't know, something else, mouse memoirs. <laughs> you know and you know it's changed and it changes like that so you pick whatever work, works for you i like montserrat no it needs an s right like that so so uh, and that is the base uh, typography and you can have a different for uh headings headings yes inherit or if you want to put a different let, let's say Helvetica, it's changed. In here it means it takes, you know, the default uh, fonts that you have uh, type font. Now, and you have some more settings here, like colors, what would want to be your website's main colors, the theme color, it's blue, or I can put, I don't know, orange here. And um, uh, it doesn't change this one. Uh, link color, this maybe. Here might be, might see something. I made it green. You see it's changed here green. So, you know, the colors to play with are here. Uh, but the menus here, we have the menu uh, section and here we have the main menu, which is some pages that I already have and I have added them there. What I want to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a menu from scratch. And uh, the top navigation, this is something that I don't need. Actually, I'm going to remove it because it was part of a different theme. Uh, so I'm just going to ignore, we can ignore that. And yeah. So the main menu, we will stick to the main menu. Now we go back and uh, we can either do it here, but I'm going to show you another location where I go and I build my menus. Um, so click, uh, press X and we go under appearance. We have themes, customize widget and menus. This is where I go and where I build my menus. So here 
you have select oh, select the menu to edit this is the main menu or a top navigation and this is for websites or for themes that sometimes they have a main navigation but you have seen the thin bar on top this is the top navigation section uh, but here on the next we have create a new menu click on it and this is something this is a new menu that we can select and we can use it uh, main menu. I have already main menu, so I'm going to name it main menu two. Right? Okay. Create menu. First, you need to create the menu. You click create, and now you can go to the pages on the side here, and you can select the pages that you want to them to show on your menu. Um, I can do you all. So I have a home, which is the front page, and I have a blog which is the post pages and add to menu and those are added directly then I have created an about me page and a contact me page add to menu as well um, now let's say that so you have a blog you have some categories and this one for the purpose of this tutorial I'm using a food blog example so if you have a food blog you might have uh, categories for different types of recipes yes let's say that you want to have those as well on your menu like the category uh, recipe category one and recipe category two let's see I have some categories here and I'm gonna go to categories as well here and I have a dinner recipe and breakfast recipes and I want to use them on my menu so I click on them and I'm gonna add to the menu and here they are well I can make them look a bit prettier because they have small letters I want to put the first capital and I'm gonna do the same come on click yes to the breakfast recipes so here it is so they look nice and you can also add here a custom link here if you have some other link to something else that you want people to go visit um, a custom link let's say an example you have uh, a Facebook page of course you have social media links if you want on your website or a YouTube channel or something else but you want to have it on your menu you can put the link there now everything is done and now I need to click save on the bottom uh, what is it bottom right <laughs> save menu now we have a main menu to made and created and we go back to appearance and customize and we go to the menus here we can select the menus that we want them to appear well I have a similar menu anyway <laughs> on top uh, so this is the main menu that is currently set to primary menu and below that I have the main menu too and it has all those pages and this is what I want to use so I scroll down uh, you see the menu locations I want to have it as my primary menu and now that I select it it's changed current main menu too and that's it and you click publish and that's how you make a menu you don't have to have multiple menus but uh, this is the process of creating a menu and adding it to your website I hope you enjoy this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more WordPress tutorials and if you have a question or a suggestion for a tutorial let me know in the comments thank you and see you next time